Hi, welcome to this video looking at Year 9 Pythagoras' Theorem, and this is a worksheet from White Rose Maths. Now, White Rose Maths are an excellent resource for Key Stage 1, Key Stage 2, Key Stage 3, and even GCSE Maths, so please do check them out actually, I will leave a link in the description for their website, so please go ahead and click the link and check out their resources. We're going to start with question number one. Work out the values of P and Q. Okay, so the length is equal to five. The width is equal to five. Now the area of this shape is the length times the width. Now this is what I call a square because all the distance, uh, all the lengths are the same. So I'm going to do 5 times 5 which is equal to 25 centimetres squared. Okay, and that will tell me the, the area of this square. So the area of the square is just length times the width, okay, or L times L. Next question. This time it's told us that the area is equal to 64 centimetres squared. It's also a square, but it's just been tilted on its side. So the opposite of squaring something is square root. Okay, a square root of 64 is equal to 8. Okay, that means Q is equal to 8 centimetres. Okay, because the idea to remember is that I'm doing 5 squared here. I'm doing 5 times 5. For the area, and that gives me 25. And here, I've actually got Q times Q, or Q squared, is equal to 64. So the opposite of squaring something is square root. Okay, but I'm taking the positive square root. Okay, so technically I have a plus and minus, but I disregard the minus square root because obviously I'm looking at length here, and length can't be negative. So the answer is equal to 8. This is question number 2, guys. Take the triangles for which x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. So it's the shorter length squared plus the other shorter length squared is equal to the longer length squared. So this one and this one definitely. This one it's not because it's x squared plus z squared is equal to y squared. We want x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. This one I don't know because it's not got the right angle symbol, so it has to have the right angle in order for me to denote it, so I don't know if that's going to be right angle, so I have to disregard those two. This is question number three, guys. Calculate the length of the unknown side in each triangle. Well, the length of this one is 6 squared plus... 2.5 squared, okay, that's equal to what we call the hypotenuse, which is the longest one. So I'm going to label this as H here for the hypotenuse, because that's equal to the longest side. Okay, And in mathematics, that is called the hypotenuse. Okay, 6 squared is equal to 36. 2.5 squared is 6.25. Is equal to h squared, which should be a 5 there. Okay, so h squared by definition is equal to 42.25. Then, if I take the square root of it, that will tell me the length of the unknown side.
This ragged is 6.5 centimeters. Okay. Right, this one, this one's the shorter side now. Okay, so let's label this one as A, let's say. So we're going to have A squared plus 7.5 squared has to equal the longest side squared. Now the longest side squared in our case is the 12.5 millimetres. Okay, working this out on my calculator guys, we're going to get... A squared plus 56.25 is equal to a hundred and fifty point six two five. Okay, if I take off the 56.25 from either end and then square root it, so I'm going to do 150 take away 56.25, that will give me 93.8125, and then if I take the square root of that, I get the answer to be 9.7 millimetres to one decimal place, okay? Right guys, this is question number four. The perimeter of the square is 34 metres. Work out the length. Well, each length is going to be the same and I've got four sides. So if I do 36 divided by four, that'll give me the length of each side of the square. That's going to be nine metres. Okay, so that's 9 metres, that's also 9 metres, okay, depending on which one I'm looking at, this is also 9 metres, and this is also 9 metres, okay, now to work out the length of the diagonal, it's 9 squared plus 9 squared square rooted, so 9 squared is 81, plus 81 is 162, a square root of 162, it will give us our answer. Which is 12.73 metres to two decimal places. But again, in the exam, they will specify the number of decimal places they want you to do. Right guys, this is question number 5. A triangle has sides 48mm, 5cm and 1.4cm. Is a triangle right angled? Okay, let's just convert this to centimetres. So that's going to be 4.8, okay, dividing it by 10. Okay, if we do 1.4 squared plus 4.8 squared does this equal 5 squared ok so I'm going to put little equals but a question mark does that sum equal to 5 squared if it does then it is right angled because by definition Pythagoras' theorem is applied in right angled triangles if it doesn't then it's not right angled ok so 1.4 squared plus 4.8 squared Okay, so it does actually give me 25 actually, so that does actually equal 25 actually, and 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25, so the answer is yes, it is right angled, okay, 
because if I if I square the sh the two shorter lengths, which is four point eight and one point four, and I add them together, that does equal the square of the longest length of my triangle, which is five. One point four squared plus four point eight squared is indeed twenty five. Okay. And the 4.8 has just come from converting millimetres to centimetres. Okay, so the answer is yes. So the left-hand side is true for the right-hand side, okay, because 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Right, guys, this is question number six. The point P has coordinates 5, 7. The point Q has coordinates minus 1, minus 1. Find the length of the line segment PQ. So it's the distance, okay? So, if I look here, okay, minus 1 to 5, I'm adding 6. So I'm going to do 6 squared from minus 1 to 7. I'm adding 8. So 6 squared plus 8 squared. And we're going to square root that. 6 squared is 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. So the square root of 100 is equal to 10. Okay. So that's how to work out the distance between two points. So you look at the x coordinate increase, minus 1 plus 6 is equal to 5. And then I did minus 1 plus 8 is equal to 7 for the difference in the y coordinate. Okay, I squared those numbers, added it together, and then took the square root. This is question number seven, guys. Here is a net of a square-based pyramid. Calculate the height of the square-based pyramid. So once this part here, okay. Now I know that that's going to equal to ten, okay, by definition. And I can split it, okay, into here. So we want the height, which is essentially this part here, okay. So it's the this part here when I fold this up okay so this is actually a net okay imagine I've got a triangle now where this is 12 this will be 5 because it's half of the square base half of 10 is 5 and then I want to work out this shorter length we'll label that as B okay so B by definition is equal to the this squared take away this squared square rooted so 12 squared take away 5 squared square rooted okay so it's going to be 144 take away 25 okay which i believe is 129 i think if i'm not mistaken because if I take off, wait no, sorry, it's 119, I believe. So B is equal to the square root of 119. Which again, I'll do this on my calculator, which is equal to 10.91 meters to two decimal places. Okay, but if you, if you want the full one, it's... 10.9087121164 okay and that is how to do it okay and it's got the capital h there so it's for the higher tier students okay so students that are wanting to do higher tier okay when they sit the year 11 exams okay Right guys, this is the end of today's video, so thank you so much for watching.